Before I begin, I just want to give a big round of thanks and applause to Lisa McLeod and the hard work she's done in carrying the ball for the PC Caucus, standing up for Ontario families and fighting Dalton McGinty's HST tax grab tooth and nail. And it seems like any time, anywhere, that a Liberal cabinet minister opens her mouth on the HST, Lisa McLeod was right there to set the record straight and tell the facts to the people of Ontario. And no Liberal ad campaign with Dalton McGinty lost in Michael Ignatius Forrest can hold a candle <laughs> to the hard work that Lisa, Norm Sterling, Steve Clark, and our members have done revealing the real toll of the HST. And of course, we have the secret weapon that they don't have. We're the ones actually telling the truth about the tax credit. Thanks to everybody who has worked to make this barbecue such a success. Our local riding associations as well for spreading the word, my friends. A big round of applause for the outstanding volunteers. And most of all, I want to thank all of you for taking the time to join us here tonight to make sure your voice is heard against the HST and this tired out of gas government. And I tell you, whether I'm in Ottawa, Niagara, or North Bay, I'm hearing more and more that people are saying enough is enough. It's time for change in the province of Ontario. Now well, friends, Canada Day is just one week away. That means some of us we have in our own backyard barbecues, going to see the fireworks. Some in Ottawa may even go to see the Queen. But our friend Dalton McGinty is celebrating Canada Day by doing what he does best, raising taxes on the backs of hardworking Ontario families. That's right. Only a Premier as out of touch as Dalton McGinty would designate Canada Day as the day the HST kicks in and everyone starts paying more. And we know what this means. On Canada Day, that means the price of gas is going to go up. The price of electricity is going to go up. The price of home feeding fuel is going to go up. The cost of taking your dog or cat to the vet, that's going to go up too. Boo. Camping fees up, green fees up, putting your kids in soccer up, getting a haircut's going up, going to the gym is going up every day and every way. Dalton McGinty is going to cause your cost of living to go up. And believe it or not, even funerals will get more expensive under Dalton McGinty with his HST tax grab. Believe it or not, they actually tried to sell the HST by telling you to go out and buy your funeral early. They actually, they, honest to God, they did a press release. If you buy your funeral before July 1, you'll save the 8% on the HST. It's part of Dalton McGinty's pay now, die later policy. <laughs> You know, I know, and Ontario families know that the only thing that should be buried in this province is Dalton McGinty's tax mistake. Yeah! Today, the Ontario family budget is under siege. I think you all remember when Dalton McGinty once solemnly promised that he wouldn't raise your taxes. Now, how many times does he intend to break that promise? He's trying to set a Guinness record. Income taxes, the so-called health tax that just goes into the general treasury, small business taxes, electricity taxes, new smart meters. He's even putting a tax on iPods and cell phones and computers. Now, I don't know if Dalton McGinty even knows how to operate an iPod, but he sure knows he wants to slap a tax on it. Yeah. <laughs> and what's coming next? 
liberal advisors and MPPs are actually talking about a second health tax, or taxing your water supply, or they're even talking about resurrecting Stefan Dion's carbon tax from the grave. And Dal McGinty is so out of touch, he doesn't understand how much hardworking Ontario families and retirees already pay. His view, you make it, he takes it, and it is up to us, the Ontario PC Party, to fight back and to say, no more. And the Ontario PC team has been using every tool at our disposal to stand up for Ontario families. I spent the last 10 months traveling to every corner of Ontario to expose the real cost of the HST. Our PC caucus has pulled out all the stops as well. We staged a two-day sit-in in the Ontario Legislature. We brought 500,000 amendments forward to grind that bill, the HST bill, to a halt. And friends, on Election Day, we will have the opportunity to grind Dalton McGinty and his tax and spend ways to a halt once and for all. As we prepare for the 2011 election, all options will be on the table when it comes to giving Ontario families a needed relief they need from Dalton McGinty's HST and his other taxes. And we know it is time for change. Because while families in Ottawa struggle to get a family member into a long-term care home, while they wait with their child for far too long at the ER, Dalton McGinty spent a billion dollars in the e-health boondoggle and put some $200 million into the anonymous, unelected, and unaccountable lens. And we said if elected, we'll scrap those lens and put that money into frontline health care. And while Ontario farmers continue to wait for Dalton McGinty to put his many promises into action, well, families in rural Ontario are forced to stand in line for repairs for crumbling roads and bridges. Dalton McGinty is actually sending out those HST bribe checks to prisoners in the province of Ontario. Dalton McGinty has put a new expression out there, friends. The check is in the jail. <laughs> And while parents with kids with special needs are crying out for help in our classrooms today, Dalton McGinty's priority in education, a sex ed curriculum that would start with six-year-olds. At a time the kids are learning their ABCs and to tie their shoes. And while the PC caucus is focusing on creating jobs and defending the family budget, the nanny premier is worried about saving you from the menace of the plastic bag and protecting the dandelions on your front lawn. <laughs> Friends, enough is enough. The good news, there is only 476 days until the next election. <laughs> so this is what I'm asking you to do today and the time going forward. To go out there and sign up five more PC members, to have them donate to your local riding associations and to the party, to get them lined up to volunteer in that next campaign. And you can tell them where the PC party stands. Instead of higher taxes on your paychecks and everything you buy, we will cut taxes and create jobs. Instead of uncontrolled spending on everything under the sun, we will focus on priorities and put frontline health care first. And instead of this culture of entitlement that has rewarded so many friends and liberal insiders, we will respect each and every tax dollar that you send to Queen's Park. And I tell you this, on election day we will stand on a mainstream conservative platform that you will be proud of and a team you can believe in. We will field the best slate of candidates the Ontario PC Party has ever seen. We will win a PC government. We'll re-elect Norm Sterling, Lisa McLeod, Steve Clark, Randy Hillier, John Yacht.